In this quick tip, I wanted to revisit something I meant to cover in my first 360 Live event, but failed to do so. So here goes the first of likely many 360 Live makeup assignments. Anyway, here I have two robotic gripper assemblies with one subtle difference. You see, this gray, boring looking version uses a ground in the history to tie down the first part. Whereas this beautiful specimen, featuring fusion orange and blue hues, instead uses a rigid as-built joint between the same part and the top level assembly. On first look, they operate exactly the same. But what if you insert these sub-assemblies into a master assembly? That's just what I'm going to do. And to lock these in place, I'm going to create rigid as-built joints between them and the master assembly. Shift J can be used to rapidly create these. They should be good and locked into their respective locations, so let's check their mechanics once again. Looks like this one works as expected, but when we try the same with the version on the left, the one with the ground feature, we get this behavior. Because grounding only acts to lock the origin of the grounded component to the top level of that design. And, as demonstrated here, if an assembly with a grounded part is inserted into another assembly, those grounded parts are now floating, as well as any others that are tied to that original. This causes the gray gripper to move about in a very undesirable way. I hope that explains what I had admitted in the original production. Make sure to subscribe and like if that helped, and see one of these other helpful videos while you're at it.